Here in Atlanta, the police are looking for a man who dragged a woman out of his car. He beat her, and then he pulled a gun on her. The woman's name is Brittany Karori. Uh, so based on what they said on the news report, I'm guessing, you know, she was single for a while and she decided to use this, uh, this online dating site called Hinge. Well, actually, the dating app. And apparently this was her first time uh, trying online dating. And her first experience ended up being a very bad experience. So the story goes, uh, she met this guy named Ben on a dating app. You know, they started talking on the phone and everything was going smoothly in the beginning. You know, he met her family, he met her friends. And during the date, um, they decided to go, you know, have dinner at this lounge. And after they left the lounge, she said they were sitting in his car talking. And all of a sudden, the guy got upset. He was upset over the amount of money he spent during the date. And he was saying that she didn't deserve it and all that stuff. And then all of a sudden, he started wilding out. He put his hands on her, hit her in the face, hit her in the neck. He was just beating on her. And then he dragged her out of the car. And then apparently, he pulled a gun on her. So while all this was going on, uh, there was a female security guard coming down the sidewalk. And she saw the whole thing. And she actually heard her screaming, too. And, you know, she pulled her phone out and started taking pictures and, you know, like, and recording him, what was going on or whatever. And the guy got spooked and then he just ran off. Now, they haven't caught the guy yet because um, apparently, I mean, it just happened like this past week. So, um, yeah, he's still at large. They're still looking for him. And yeah, man, it's just, it's just a pretty messed up story. But I can relate to it because um, I moved to Georgia. Um, I live right outside of Atlanta. Um, I moved here about three years ago. And I've seen a lot of stuff since I've been here. And I've actually, you know, tried online dating myself. Well, and I started using, you know, like dating apps or whatever, different apps. I used Tinder before. I used uh, Bumble. And Bumble was pretty much just to upgrade to Tinder. I mean, I've never tried Hinge, but I'm pretty sure all the dating apps are similar at this point with the whole matching system. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, this, this whole story is just messed up. Now, based on the stories that I was told, you know, uh, from my friends and some of the women I actually went on dates with from, you know, people I've met on, on dating apps, um, they had similar had similar experiences. It wasn't as bad as this situation, but um, but it was bad to the point where um, they pretty much lost faith in online dating altogether. And it's not something that they want to do at all. And when I say lost faith in online dating, I mean, they completely lost faith. It's like, yeah, <laughs> they're just done with it altogether. Uh, example, um, I went out with this girl and she, she was telling me about this guy she dated uh, not too long ago. Said he was like a successful lawyer. Long story short, uh, they were having dinner one night at this restaurant. And the guy kept getting up and going to the bathroom. Like he just, for some reason, he's kept getting up and going to the bathroom. And she couldn't figure out why. Um, and what happened was, apparently the guy was going in the bathroom. He was sniffing cocaine. <laughs> so that wasn't, that wasn't something that, yeah, that's not something that she's into. So I guess this guy, yeah, I mean, yeah, he had money and he was successful. But apparently he had a coke habit. So needless to say, she decided not to see that guy anymore. Uh, another example, um, cheap movie date. Um, I went out with this girl and she told me a story about um, how... She met this guy on Tinder, and they decided to um, go on a movie date. And, you know, it was during the daytime. You know, during the daytime, they had matinee. Matinee is cheap. I think, you know, matinee tickets are less than $10. So, long story short, what happened was um, she had, um, she got to the movie theater before he did, and he said, yeah, you know, I'm running late. He gets there. She already purchased the tickets. And the guy, you know, he pulls out $10. I guess, you know, he decided he didn't want to pay for her ticket. He only wanted to pay for his ticket. And he pulls out $10. He hands her $10. <laughs> he gives her he gives her his you know his half you know for his ticket and then he looks at her he just kind of stands there and then he looks at her like he's waiting for his change he's like this dude really waiting for his you know this dollar and you know dollar and a few coins over there for the change so she kind of dug in her purse and just handed him a dollar and some change then they went in there then i asked her i said did you guys go in there did you go in there and actually watch the movie they went in there and watched the movie and um and then after the movie she told me she's kind of got up and just walked straight out went to her car blocked the guy's number he tried to, he made a few attempts to try to contact her afterwards, but she was pretty much done with him. And then after that, she just never heard from him again. And recently I had a friend tell me that, you know, she just, you know, just recently had a bad uh, dating experience with some guy she met online. And she was chatting with this guy on Bumble and they decided to, um, to meet up and have dinner at Yard House. Long story short, the guy shows up like he just came from the gym. She said, you know, he didn't look presentable at all. You know, he's wearing like basketball shorts and, you know, sneakers and, you know, he just kind of look, you know, I guess like dirty or whatever. Like he just left the gym. So, um... You know, so they sat down and they got a table or whatever. They sat down, um, they order food and the guy kept ordering drinks all night. So it got to the point where the guy actually got, you know, he was drunk. <laughs> and um, and she said when the waiter came over, the waiter was like, uh, OK, is this going to be on separate checks or is it all together? And initially the guy said, oh, no, this is, you know, it's going to be separate checks. So apparently, I guess they were going Dutch and she didn't know about it, you know, because, you know, he had asked her out on a date. So she was like, okay, well, you know, I'll pay for my half or whatever. And then after that, I'll just, you know, I'll just keep it moving. And 
So when the waiter came back with the you know with the receipts or whatever, um, the guy got upset with the waiter and started arguing with the waiter. He's like, "Man, I thought I said no. This is all together. You pay for this all together." Apparently, the guy or whatever I don't think he had any money, so he was trying to get he was he was trying to get everything put on one you know on one on one bill or whatever and try to get her to pay for it. I guess he was gonna try to like run out or whatever he was gonna try to do or whatever. He was trying to get her to pay for it. And I guess she caught on to it. So what she did was she paid for her half of the bill and then she got up and she walked out. And as she was walking out of the door, the guy, you know, she could still see the guy still arguing with the waiter. And after that, she just never heard from him again. And the sad thing is I even had a similar experience happen to me like not too long ago. Well, actually, it happened more than once. But I remember one time um, I, I met a girl on a dating app and we had breakfast at this restaurant. And that's what happened to me. Like the waitress came over. And she was like, uh, just going to be on, you know, separate bills or just, just all on one bill. And I was like, no, nah, I asked her out. I mean, it's, you know, I'm, I'm a traditional thinker anyway. I just like, nah. I mean, I asked her out on a date. So I feel like if a guy asks a woman out on a date, the guy should pay for the date. Um, not saying, you know, you got to spend all your money on the person. You know, if you know, if you if you hurt or whatever, you're struggling or whatever, you can just let your date know, like, hey, this is all I have. If it's that type of situation. Caught me off guard because I've never been in a situation like that where I had someone question whether or not I was going to pay for a date. So, so for me, it was it was a new experience for me. So just to wrap things up, um, the photos that you see in the video are, are the actual photos that the victim decided to post on our Instagram. So that way she can caution women about the dangers of uh, online dating. And I'm going to put the link to the original video in the description box below.